If it never becomes a hit, it doesn't even matter. I sung a fantastic song. I have a song that will always work for me in some kind of way. To hear it sung, to see it performed, it's very big. It's bigger than life. Being on stage with Tina, I work with other artists on stage, and she's in the moment. You know, some artists, you do a long tour like this, and you just, it becomes rote after a while, and the artist is just doing it and everything. But with Tina, she has that in the moment. She has that energy in the moment, and I think the audience feels that, and they really respond to that. It was the uh, golden eye. The movie, Bond. James Bond. I was asked to do the soundtrack and uh, not quite ready to go back to work. Not quite. And uh, I knew that once I did it, that I would end up out here. So the song was recorded. There it was. We were all pleased with it. And then it started to hit. And I thought to myself, I want it one more year, one more summer, just one more at home. But, you know, in this business, when you're hot, you just better get out there and take it, which is what I did. Recording is something she doesn't love, because uh, she hates the hanging around, the long, slow process. She's a very spontaneous person. She has a lot of energy, so, you know, she hates going and singing one song over a hundred times. How could you have a day without a night? Tina, she likes to sing it from start to finish, which amazes a lot of producers, because it's not that common nowadays. And now I've got to know. I didn't want to produce this album with Roger and I, an, an engineer. And so we started to talk about who, and I started to talk to him about music that I liked, and we came up with Trevor. And I thought it was absolutely a fantastic idea, because he would give me just that little twist that I needed to, to make it a little bit fresh so I wouldn't be sounding like myself. There's a time for love, and a time for healing. She doesn't look back. She's not trying to be something that she was. She's really, she gets artists around her and she gets producers around her who are new and fresh, cutting edge, and she just wants to move forward. She has a vision for herself. I usually say to a songwriter, don't write the song for me, just write a good song. Because if you start to write it for me, you're going to be, it's, it's going to be typecast. It's going to be like something that I've done before, or I, I tell you, a song similar to but having some fun, I'm on the feeling I'm not the only one. All I wanna do is have some fun. This would've been a perfect song for me. Nobody would ever think that I would love such a song. I love simple, unmessaged songs because they're just fun. They're just about giving the people a break, not to think about anything except just having a good time for a change. I want to give a kind of a performance on record and on stage where you can let go for a moment of problems. Take the second of really having a good time, a good performance where everybody can laugh and sing along with the act, clap hands, jump, and leave their feelings. It was a good time. Do you understand? And I, I wait sometimes for it. I wish that we could have more of it. But the world is, is going through a transition where people write about the pain more because they're experiencing it. The music today can be very angry. And the fact that hers isn't is a much stronger message, to, I think, than being angry. Because it reaches more people, it touches more people, it moves more people. And I think that that's what she's about. When you say what you say, you gotta mean it. And when you do what you do, you gotta do it from the heart. I mean, 
and for a 56 year old woman to be doing two and a half hour show and you know four nights a week for you know 150 shows in Europe is quite scary I don't know acts 30 years younger who can do that it, it never ceases to amaze me you know and I, and I have to sometimes remind her that you're 56 you're selling out football stadiums and she goes that's good, is it? I said, yeah. I said, I can't think of anyone else doing it, you know. Yes! I care. I care to bend and do whatever music I must in order to give the people the music. You need to be there for them to still be present. You can't get lazy when you get a little money and stay at home. You just have to get out here and be as alive as, as you want to stay. Who do you go to listen to, Janice, if you want to really have a... Who are your favorites? Tina Turner. Fantastic singer, great dancer, fantastic show. Would you be shocked if I didn't know who Tina Turner was? No, a lot of people don't, but that's too bad. Uh, yeah. She sings with the Ike and Tina Turner Review. Ike mm -hmm. is her husband and band leader. <clears throat> yeah. And the Tina's the show. If you want some loving, yeah, yeah. that I'll give to you. Yeah, yeah. To you. I was blinded by the light in those days. Uh, when she said that, I felt good because she was packing stadiums. And I didn't foresee that Ike and I were going to get there. Does something keep troubling me? Troubling me in the back of my mind wasn't happy times, cool enough. Um, it was a time when I was singing with my ex-husband, Ike Turner, and the song wasn't written for me. I didn't like the yelling of, hey, 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 because I had been used to singing a lot of ballads and pop songs, you know, high school stuff. It was a hit, which I should have been excited about. And I felt really weird. So that's some kind of way to start my career. But of course, Ike was very excited. I must say, you are uh, one of the most exciting groups, and I really mean this, that uh, I would love it if, and I know that the kids would, if you would once again do it like it really is. Right. Would you do another number? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Part of my life, I wasn't doing what I wanted. I was doing what uh, my ex relationship was. Now we here. We at the place I've been trying to get to my whole life. We got the right song at the right place at the right time. Now I need you to get out on that stage right now. And this here is about business right here. That that marquee out there say Ike and Tina Turner. And the people out there waiting on me. And you laying up here talking about you trying. Now what you gonna do? You want to take care of business, or, or you looking for a way out? I didn't do mine. I raised my children, I was a wife, and I didn't even have the kind of marriage that I wanted. So since I didn't do that, I was still open for it. When I was divorced, I started to think about what I wanted to do, where I wanted to go, and went to do it. I can show you how it feels to be. There wasn't really any publicity that when they got divorced, it was all low profile and she'd gone off and did Hollywood squares and just did stuff to survive because in the divorce settlement basically she gave him everything. Is, is it alright for me to ask you if you and Ike are together or separated or, or divorced or... Separated and divorced. Yeah, separated and divorced? <laughs> yeah, we are divorced. That has to have made some big changes in, in your career. It was pretty hard for the first couple of years because I couldn't get her a record deal. You know, people in America weren't interested. I think if we hadn't gone to England to start recording the record, it wouldn't have happened in America. Let me say the same thing since we've been together. 
we went through songs one night late in the hotel and we were supposed to record the next day and we she said well i like al green they said what about let's stay together and she said oh, yeah, i always liked that song and that's how we did that song it was like spur of the moment After that, we just ran into the studio and just cut a whole bunch of tracks of songs we'd been collecting. There was no real direction. We really didn't know how the album was going to come out. That's probably why it sold so well. It just it clicked. You know, it was a magical thing. You must understand the touch of your hand makes my thoughts react. That it's only the thrill the strength of the song I didn't recognize it was recognized from Roger Davis my manager and became my number one hit in America and other parts of the world so voila what's love got to do with the <laughs> I'd like to take this award and give it to someone that's been wonderful to me as a friend and in business and in many ways, my manager, Roger Davis. It's been wonderful in here. The culmination that night when we won all these awards, it was, it was a great sense of satisfaction. I felt embarrassed, but I also felt very happy. I wanted what I hadn't had. I enjoyed my freedom and it opened the doors for me and the freedom allowed it all to happen. The greatest single moment of my career is right now. I mean, I'm shaking a little bit, you know. That was a real surprise, that one was. I just didn't expect it at all. <laughs> Attention for the work and for the business is good. There's a conflict because you, one would say, I want to walk down the street and not be bothered or not be recognized. But it's impossible to be in the business and stand on stage and be on television all the time and not be. Which part of your body are you proud of most? Well, the business you're in, you're caught with having it whether you like it or not and having to deal with it professionally. You must be proud of yourself. Your leg has become uh, your trademark. Some people ask if I have insurance on my legs or whatever. That was going to be the next question. There are days, you know, where obviously you don't want to do eight hours of interviews on a, a day off, but she'll be doing them because it's, you know, what that comes with the job. Are you in a good mood? Do you love me? It's not easy. There's a lot of give and take there. You can't be a temperamental star with what you want to do and what you think. You have to live up to a standard to stand on top of being in this business and being successful in this business. suddenly look back now after all these years and go, God, remember when we started here and now, uh, you know, it, it's been a very, it's been an amazing period for both of us, you know, a lot of dreams have come true. My idea about when you last is you're not finished yet. You're not finished with what you wanted to do. And you, you stay out there because of that, because there's a, a beckoning of saying, well, I didn't do that. I didn't do it my way. <laughs> Such a powerful song, I always thought. And I, would, I just wanted to sing it my way, just by singing it, just to yell it, yell out the pain. I 
I loved the song so much. It was, it was such a powerful song, I always thought. And I, would, I just wanted to sing it my way, just by singing it, just to yell it, yell out the pain. that when you listen to Tina, you feel like she is singing from her. Soul. I mean, it's coming from the soul, you know. You know, when you hear, yeah, when you hear, it's just coming from that deep place. It's amazing how the audience res responds to her. It, it, I, I don't know if I can really explain it, but it's just, just love. She puts out love in the way the audience, in waves, it comes back. We haven't toured Europe in six years, and when we put tickets on sale and I came in, I said, well, we've sold out all these shows. She said, well, I guess they still like me. What do I take it as? Longevity. You know, when you're, when you're, around, when you're around so long, people decide to listen. like fun and I'm not saying it has to be wild but I'm saying fun and I think that's what some entertainment has to be yeah. living the way we do proud Mary as we roll, roll, roll. She's not bitter. This is a woman who doesn't want to be looked upon as a victim. One more time. She fought her way up and did well, and she's, she's very happy, you know. So I think that's, it comes across. That's her attitude. Why am I still here? Because of my talent and because of Roger. And because I have desires. My life is totally free and flowing. It flows. I don't put limits on myself. This weekend, VH1's got music's best and, shall we say, gutsiest. Saturday, music's best take over. We've got legendary performances from Tina Turner and classic albums like Fleetwood Mac's Rumors. Then on Sunday, VH1's got an entire day of cop rock. You remember the show where the cops and the thugs sing. A quick recap, Saturday on VH1, Legends. Sunday on VH1, Jimmy Smith and Cheryl Crow star and sing in cop rock. VH1, where music needs more than videos.